Hi everyone, so here are my Marquee Love trees. I've already removed the inside, so now we're just left with the basic white shell, and that's where we're gonna add the pattern paper pieces that I cut out to. So I'll just set this down here. And here you can see the inside template. I trimmed each piece so I had three different templates that I could use to add the different patterns inside. I've already gone ahead and done that. So I've had the red stripe I've chosen, the black and white wood grain, and then the wood grain. And these are all from the Oh What Fun Heidi Swap um, 12 by 12 paper pad. So once they're trimmed out, you can just simply pop them right in to the Marquee Love trees. And just like that, they slide in super easy. And there you go. It's an awesome way to customize the inside of your tree and not have to have the same piece of pattern paper. So now what I'm gonna do is take my paper piercer. This is the easiest way I find to add the lights into the marquee with the holes since the paper covers it up. I simply flip it over and very carefully poke a little hole into each circle so then you can see where each light is supposed to go. Sometimes I'll try to do it on the front and just poke through, but sometimes I find it easier to just look at the back and then just make your little holes and go pop, 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 poke, poke, poke. And then once I'm done that, what I do is I'll take my paper piercer and just push it through the front so that it gives me that perfect round hole. I just use a little bit of force and then I'll know exactly where my lights need to be and I don't need to do any further cutting or poking or punching or anything like that. So we're almost done right at the top. And then I always just make sure to turn around, double check. Oh, I missed one. So we'll just go back and see if I can find it. If not, I'll turn it around, make another little poke. And there we go. And the final push. Awesome. We're all ready for our lights now. You can see all the holes have been poked through. So now I'll grab my bulb caps. And you'll notice that these are different than the other marquee in that they have a little white backing. What these bulbs are unique for is that they actually are screwed into the plastic marquee. So what you'll do is you'll pop your bulb in and then take the white backing and screw it on, much like how we had to unscrew them, you're just basically putting them all back in. And they pop through the hole super easy and just twist your white backing onto it to secure it in place. Super simple, and there's no um, incorrect way of doing this. All the bulbs just go into all the holes. So now once I'm done that, now we have to string the lights. A lot of people are confused, myself included, on how to put the lights through these backings. At first I was unscrewing them and then my bulb caps were falling out, but what's neat about this is that once we unscrew, or sorry, remove the little wire from our lights and unstring them, you'll notice that you can see there's two little holes in the back of those white caps. And that's where we're gonna push the bulbs through. So very important, make sure you have your Marquee Love instructions handy because it tells you exactly how to put the lights in. You cannot just put the lights in these shapes however which way you choose because they're custom designed to fit into the template and to work perfectly so that you have no extra cord, no extra lights. So what I like to do is I like to pop my batteries in first and make sure that they're working. So you just put them in the correct way. Snap on your back piece. Sometimes this takes a little extra time. Mine likes to stick on me. So once it's snapped into place, then we can start poking through the lights. So as you can see, I'm just using a little bit of force, but not to worry, your lights will not break. You just push the little bulb through those little holes and they will just pop right through. And like I said, some of them you might have to use a little bit extra push, but most often not too much.
So as you can see, I'm just trying to make sure I have each correct light lined up into its appropriate slot. Because again, like I said, these are all custom designed to work with the template and there you go. So now I have strung in all my lights. You can see they all fit perfectly. I don't have any extra lights. I have all the lights fit in the right holes according to the picture in the instructions. So then you can just take your switch, turn it on, and voila! You have gorgeous marquee ready to be displayed for the holidays. Simple and easy and customized to whatever your design is this year.